In this lesson, we're going to cover some basic terminology and workflow that we will use here in iMovie. First, notice at the top of the window that we have Media, Projects, and Theater tabs. You can kind of think of these as a beginning, middle, and end of the iMovie workflow. Here in the Media tab is where we can import and view clips. A clip is any piece of video or even a still image. At the far left here, we have the Libraries column. This will contain my entire Photos library. So any photo or video that appears in the Photos app can be viewed here and brought into iMovie as a clip. Below that we have an All Events view. Currently I just have a single event here. And lastly we have the iMovie library. Click the turn down triangle to view all the events stored in this iMovie library. It is possible to have multiple iMovie libraries, and we'll look at that more in the next lesson. Here in the Hot Air Balloon event, we have two video clips. Notice that as I hover over these with the cursor, we scrub through the video. To play the video back at normal speed, hit the space bar while hovering over the clip or with it selected. We can also trim clips, mark clips, and even apply effects to them from here in the Media tab. We'll have more on all of that later on. As clips are organized into events, you can then move to the Project tab. When we create a new project, we can either make a new movie or a trailer. A trailer is going to have sort of a template that we can work around. With a movie, we start with an empty timeline, which is what I'm going to select. So now we have an editing timeline in the lower half of the window. This is where we're going to assemble clips into a movie. Notice in the upper left we have access to all the media just as we did in the Media tab. So when I click on the Hot Air Balloon Ride event, the two clips within it appear. I can now drag and drop these into the timeline for this movie project. It's also possible to add full clips by selecting them and then clicking the Add button in their lower right hand corner. Notice that when I have a clip added to the timeline that it's marked with an orange bar, letting me know how much of the clip is currently in the timeline. Right now the full length of both clips are in the timeline. If I trim the first clip down a bit, Notice the orange marker is shortened up here as well. Aside from the My Media view, we can also look at audio, titles, backgrounds, and transitions, all of which can be added into the movie timeline. I'm going to add in a few transitions at the beginning and end, and then between the two clips. Just like that, I now have a simple movie. Click on the Projects button up here, and I can then give the movie project a name, and it's saved in the Projects tab. Double click on it from here and we jump back into the editor. For the final step, I'll click on the Share button here in the upper right, and click on the iMovie Theater button. That will begin exporting a high quality copy of the completed movie. Once that's done, I can then view the completed movie anytime here in the Theater tab. From iMovie Preferences, choose to automatically upload iMovie Theater content to iCloud, and movies saved to iMovie Theater from any Mac or iOS devices using iMovie will be synced. 
providing a single, consolidated location to view all your completed iMovies. Remember though, adding movies to iCloud can start taking up a lot of iCloud storage space, possibly requiring you to upgrade your storage amount. Next, we'll look at iMovie libraries and why you might want to have more than one. 